Hey, how's it going? Ron here. Just want to take a minute to, uh, first of all, say Happy New Year to you all. 2021. Hopefully this is where we get our lives back. This is the first message that I've put out this year. It's been wonderful getting the positive responses to these messages. So I'm going to keep trying to put things out as I get little thoughts about stuff that hopefully you'll find useful. Anyhow, here we are, 2021. So typically one might be tempted to have some resolutions, New Year's resolutions. And there's something about a reset that is inherent in the idea of a new year. I think this could possibly be a mistake. There's a psychological thing about it's a brand new year that lead some of us to believe like, hey, everything has been reset and things are gonna be better and we get all this positive thinking going on. And as you well know, this often leads to a loss of momentum. We start off really pumped up for the new year. We're very inspired and we're, whether it's, oh, I'm gonna join the gym, or I'm gonna start eating well, or I'm gonna start practicing more, or whatever it might be. We talk ourselves into the idea that since it's a new year, it's a new you. I think this is a mistake. I think this could set us up for disappointment and disillusionment. One of the things I've been talking about quite a bit in these videos is the idea of sticking with things. We're all works in progress. We all have dreams that we want to achieve. Some of us don't ever pursue those dreams tragically. Some of us on the other end of the scale peak too soon. Uh, some of us never reach the dreams that we've been pursuing all our lives. But the fact remains that we're all works in progress till the day we die. There's a tendency to be thinking, well, you're on a climb and then it's a new year and then you're here. That's not the way it is, obviously. So the idea that a new year is also going to bring about new changes, I think it's a better idea to look at a new year as just a reminder of how time is passing. It's probably a good idea to resist the urge to look at everything's going to be all better now. Ultimately, if we take charge of our own lives and we are very adamant about the idea that and I'm not going to take part in the manipulation of my focus, I own my focus, then we're able to just keep going and continue on this work in progress. Aside from the people in our lives that we love and the people less fortunate that we want to help, our life's work is what we're here to do, whatever that may be. And it's really important that each of us decides what that is for ourselves. It's very easy to just relinquish that responsibility over to someone else and say, here, you show me what to do. Show me where to go. Tell me what to think. Tell me who to be. And there are plenty of power sources out there just relishing in the idea of doing just that. But we have to be realistic about things too. And that means, hey, this is a work in progress. I'm never gonna reach that peak, but it's, it's something to shoot for. And hey, you know, even if I don't, if I still try, I'm gonna do some really cool stuff while I'm here, which who knows how long I will be. So anyway, just wanted to put this out there to you. Just keep the nose to the grindstone. Keep believing in what you're doing. You really have to be the fuel for yourself. Uh, I once heard a, a line at, uh, of the fire that lights itself. That's what we have to be. That's what each of us has to be for ourselves. We have to light our own fires. We can find fuel in countless places of inspiration. And thankfully they're in great abundance in this world. There, but there are a lot of things out there looking to deplete our fuel, looking to discourage us from going after our dreams and our life's meaning. 
and whatever it takes to just keep inspired, keep going. There's a lot of places to get inspired out there. We have each other. We have our heroes. We have YouTube. Uh, I love YouTube. But it's out there. So grab a hold of some of it and get busy. All right. Keep on keeping on. Hit me up sometime. Let me know what's happening. And uh, I'm working on music with my son. I love it. He's 16. He'll be 17 this year. And he's got one more year of high school. And then he's going to college. And we're kind of figuring out where that's going to be. But it could take him away from me for a little bit. And uh, I'm dealing with that right now. But, you know, that could be a, a distraction. That could be a discouragement. But I'm looking at it as, okay, well, we're doing another album before you go. And then who knows what the future brings. But in the meantime, we've got this and we got something to shoot for. And uh, life is great. So embrace it. Make the most of it. And I'll be talking to you soon. Take care.